Okay loves, welcome back to Exotic Tea Blog. I'm back with another video. Before we get into this one, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so every single time I post you'll be notified. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. Please hit the subscribe button and I love you. We tell you subscribers, y'all should keep doing shit for me. I also love you guys too. And before we get into this video, please tap the link I'm going to pin in comment section and also description to subscribe to our second channel at Exotic Tea Blog Reloaded. I'll be dropping a video on that channel today so y'all should have missed i'll go over there and subscribe now let's quickly get into today's tea so it looks like rihanna is getting shaded by naomi campbell and her friend la roche because she was out here snubbing the both of them a fashion week mind you rihanna and naomi campbell years ago did unfollow each other on instagram when she was asked when naomi was asked she tried to debunk it so let's get into this video yeah. Now you can clearly see that Rihanna paid Naomi Campbell in La Roche does a fashion week and she was out here looking good but this is Naomi shading her. We'll go to the shows like the other girls. We don't come with our tatas out or our chi chis out. Very demure. Very nice. Very cutesy. Don't give too much. Just give a little. It's not about showing yourself. It's about showing the clothes. Very demure. Very cute, very mindful. So, I mean, they clearly talking about Rihanna because I mean, she was out here showing the TTs and Tatas and paying them dust. And I think now hear me felt a kind of way and she decided to make a shady video posted by her friend. But after they got dragged, he said this What's so funny to me is that in this universe of the internet and social media that y'all live in, y'all always think something has to be something. But something ain't always something. Sometimes something is just nothing. So stop trying to make nothing into something. You know what? Y'all need to get some business. So, I mean, y'all should let me know how you feel about it down below in the comment. It's clear to see that he's trying to do some damage control work. But, honey, no need to do the work because we all know y'all was being shady to Riri. And do I think Rihanna is going to clap back at this? No, she's going to keep being a billionaire. And now, hear me, and LaRoche is going to stay sad, mad, and pressed. But, I mean, the shade and the TikTok video was so, so unnecessary. I mean, y'all too old for that y'all to owe for that and la roche trying to do this damage control making him look a fool in the mess no shade it's quite clear that y'all was shading the girl but let me know how you feel about it down below moving on from there now to the next story Nicki minaj in recent twitter space reveals that she had taken a hair floric test in her case against a blogger who claimed she was doing cocaine so i mean nikki said the hair floric test was negative and nikki won the case and the blogger could not mention nikki minaj negatively again and this um is nosy whole life because nikki filed her uh, a court case because she was out here spilling nonsense tea that nikki was out here doing coke and i mean she has most of the swimmer rap girlies aka like lato cardi b all of them insinuating the nick minaj is out here doing the powder and nikki got her check off that girl and if she dares mention nick minaj name again nikki minaj name her family name her child's name she's going to be paying a uh, 50k a single time she mentions Nicki Minaj name so I think that is a win case for Nicki Minaj but I mean y'all should stop spreading lies it's quite unnecessary now she's in a big trouble she has no proof she has to pay because she admitted that she ain't got no proof of Nicki Minaj and Nicki clocked her because she did the test so I mean she look a mess and Nicki out here getting her coin but let me know how you feel about it down below in the comment and also Nicki popped out at the DTLR shop 
on Cleveland, Ohio, she shut it down. She had people, she had barbs waiting outside to see her. I mean, Nikki is a good person and also a marketing genius. This was so crazy and phenomenal. I saw a lot of clips of fans coming out to see Nicki Minaj. The barbs was out here rapping Nicki Minaj's lyrics. They was out here showing massive love to the queen of rap as usual. And Nikki did a great job with the whole DTLR promotion and the rest. I mean, like I said, she is a good marketing genius. I mean, she had people there waiting to buy, people there waiting to see her. And also, I'm going to insert a little interview Nicki Minaj did, not the full interview, so y'all can hear for yourself what she had to say. I'm from Queen. I'm from Queens, New York. And I always remember DTLR. Like, from, from a, for, I get, like, for a very long time, um, I always wanted to shop at DTLR. Okay. Not that I could always shop at DTLR. But what I always loved about it was that it was very boutique-ish. It was fly. It was urban. It was, you know, dope. But it felt expensive. Mm. It, it felt rich. You know, mm. It felt like the boutique type of sneaker store or clothing. You know, I know you guys have other things now, but that's why this means so much to me. Because it's not who, it's not about partnering with anybody. That's right. It's about who you partner with so that you, the brand itself feels like it's being made um, higher, that, that it's being taken to another level, you know? And also to the DTLR customer, they are a very unique customer. So if 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 you can sell at DTLR, it's a good time. That's a great so, sign. Yes, we're very very honored and excited for this opportunity. Shout out to the boss, Bob's. I want you to make sure wherever you, whatever city y'all live in, I want you to support your local DTLR. Okay, because this is a very very important thing for anybody who I've ever. So that was Nicki Minaj and the full interview is 10 minutes long. So if you want to see the interview complete, you can go over to their Instagram or Twitter. I think the full video is on their Twitter and also Instagram. Y'all can go assess the interview. I mean, like I said, Nicki did a great job and she looks phenomenal. Like she looks phenomenal. Looks hair, a single thing was given. Queen ish was queening. So I mean... I'm definitely going to be supporting Nicki Minaj um, Lochi um, deal with DTL and also I'm going to show my girl love. But let me know how you feel about it down below. Not only that, Beyonce on her GQ interview, she said, when I started my hair care brand, Sacred, I wanted it to be recognized for what it does for real people and their hair. When it launched, I made a, con I made a conscious decision not to appear in the ads. The brand first impression needed to be stand on its own merits, not by not be swayed by my influence. I have been using this product for years, so I know firsthand how magical they are. So she said this on her GQ interview talking about her hair care brand sacred and people felt like she was out here throwing shade at rihanna because i mean rihanna also came out with her hair care line and she marketed it herself and um fans felt like she was being shady towards rihanna to me i don't think this was shade. she was just out here telling y'all how she felt and why she didn't pop out in the first commercial video for her hair care line but it looks like jason lee had something to say about beyonce because i mean we all know jason lee do not check with beyonce and also here rihanna grow so if this was shade to rihanna he definitely had something to say so i mean at this point jason lee speaking against beyonce i'm not shocked we all know he tried to get her under his control but Beyonce ain't checking like that so i mean he's gonna do anything to sabotage or talk bad about her but let's get into what jason said thought about this this morning before I even knew I was going to talk about this today and I don't mean this in a bad way I don't even really know how to explain how I'm going to say what I'm going to say because I still love her I'm just not in love with her like I used to be that's the nicest way I can say it only mm -hmm. because I'm annoyed by how fake she comes off mm -hmm. her brand not her mm -hmm. 
I don't think Beyonce is fake. Just like I don't think Kamala Harris is a bad person, but sometimes your team can make you move in a way that does not translate well. And as I've become deeper into both the culture, pop culture, celebrity culture, this and that, have looked at the whole world, I kind of have a better sense on what's real and authentic and true and what's kind of manufactured. Does this make sense so far? Yeah. Okay. Beyonce is hands down one of the best singer performers ever. Not just of this generation of any time, of all times. And I love her. And we, I mean, I traveled all over to shows. You don't know, no, I spent $40,000 buying tickets to go see this girl. I love her. But y'all got to hear her selling whiskey now. Hair care products. A perfume that she did one post about and none of us have talked about. That perfume has come and gone. I don't know if it smells like Raid or if it smells like Killian or what it smells like. Because nobody... Do you have the Clump perfume? Have you bought the perfume? Have you bought Fenty? Yes. Have you bought Fenty? I'm wearing Fenty. Me too. I'm just saying. It's like... You know what I'm saying so far? Like, mm -hmm. Beyonce is a singer, performer. She is not a brand. <clears throat> and... More recently, because they're treating her brand like a flea market, like you can go there and find everything now. It's like, what am I doing? How, House of Darion, you want me to buy clothes named after your grandma? Hair care line where you're putting it on wigs. Then it's whiskey. We didn't even know you drank. We know you should drink champagne, but whiskey... Anyway, so that's how I'm feeling. I want Beyonce to be the queen mother of music like that is what she did you just can't sell nothing else when kanye left adidas they took your line ivy park they put it, they parked it right up out of there in the ivy league way straight out um you can't sell anything other than that you need to drop a floral line because you always send in white flowers to people maybe you drop a floral line i don't know i just don't see anything for you other than music and i don't think the world is ready for you to do anything but sing dance and go away and be a mom and a wife she built the whole brand off of posting on Instagram with no captions. Now, all of a sudden, we're watching her wash her hair. I, when, when I saw her washing her hair the other day, it made me kind of sad because it's like you built yourself up to buy the, be this unicorn and now you want to be human. We're not accepting that, right? Right? He don't want to say it because he's afraid y'all going to send pizzas to his house. Every time I say something <laughs> crazy, he gets attacked. But this is true. Beyonce is a phenomenal singer, artist, the best ever. She is a horrible, horrible, horrible brand. One, you need to fire your publicist, Yvette No Shore. She's been with you for 59,000 years, and it's time for you to move on. You got rid of Kim Burst. She moved over to J-Lo. Then you got somebody different. You got rid of Frank Gatson. You got a different choreographer. You know, you have turned over everybody in your team but your publicist, and right now your brand is not landing because you have a publicist who I love, loved, but she's of a particular decade that, it's still very much like she could do anything or you could do anything because you're being no no that is not how the world of social media works you know that better than anybody um and i love you beyonce but nobody's gonna tell you it's sort of like you in the room and everybody had the meeting but you i'm just telling you what was saying so you guys should let me know how you feel about that down below in the comments so the beehives is coming out to say this was hateful do y'all think this um coming by jason lee was hateful let me know down below in the comment to me, I'm not really, really going to lie. I believe he's trying to make some point because Yancy number one doesn't connect with her fans. You have to connect with your fans and they would support you and every single time you drop. Number two, Yancy sells her goods too expensive. She carries herself too high. So, I mean, that also is a big turn off for some fans because, I mean, once they cannot afford your goods, you're going to have them stocked up in your house and i think that's what happened with beyonce in ivy park she overpriced it even the sacred line is too overpriced the sir davis is too overpriced i mean a single thing beyonce been putting out is too overpriced so i mean your fans are going to find it hard to purchase and mind you the behalf i don't think um 80 percent of y'all have ivy ivy pack um did i say ivy park ivy park i don't think y'all have um sacred because they too expensive so i can see why y'all say constantly getting compared with rihanna when it comes to beauty brand and other brand but yeah i feel like jason lee was making sense but we all know where jason lee um 
anger is coming from towards beyonce he just cannot get her to be close just like he's close with rihanna and also cardi b he got see on cardi b he got see on rihanna so they are playing that game with him but he cannot do that beyonce he um has come out of threatening and also said he was going to spill tea on yonce today he hasn't spilled the tea but i mean y'all understand where his frustration is coming from but at the end of the day he's clocking the tea yonce be overpricing and she doesn't connect with her fans so i mean how's you supposed to sell but let me know if you feel about that down below in the comment moving over from there now to cardi b and her fans so they believe Nicki minaj is out just telling to drop the same day with cardi b so somebody tweeted you really pushed your album back to to wait for cardi again at Nicki minaj you're sick and obsessed so let me know you feel about this down below in the comment so um they basically coming out and say Nicki pushed her the logs day um so wait for cardi b to drop mind you y'all being slow again i mean this is a deluxe album why is y'all coming out x slow nikki do not care if cardi b is dropping her album and honestly speaking if nikki dropped the same day with cardi b nikki is even going to be shining the light on cardi b because i mean the nikki minaj hate us is going to come out and support her they be like oh we're gonna push cardi b we're not going to let nikki take the number one spot so i mean nikki knows better i don't think she's going to drop the same day with cardi b the only way she would drop the same day with cardi b is if she be messy if she feels like sabotaging him putting those girls on peer pressure she's going to drop the same day with cardi b but i don't think nikki's going to do that y'all just being slow and mind you this is the del deluxe album nikki been put out nikki m5 already she off yeah nikki m5 cardi just do not have a second album so y'all should worry about her putting out the album and announcing the date so i mean y'all be doing too much online delusion again y'all be doing too much online nikki ain't sick and obsessed cardi the one sick and obsessed she hasn't put out an album in nine eight years but she's got three kids 15 16 17 18 surgery so what are y'all talking about but let me know if you feel about that down below in the comment y'all think nikki is telling to wait for cardi b do y'all think nikki wants to drop the same day with cardi b let me know down below in the comment moving over from there now to megan Thee stallion like we all know megan Thee stallion and rm never play is aiming for a top 40 debut on the people hop 100 charts expected to be the best selling song of the week in the u.s per sales um charts so um let me know if you about this down below we already talked about this and this is really not given the prediction for the top 20 is our megan was nowhere to be found this has her fans worrying about her chart position i mean bts is in a flop but with this megan stallion collaboration it is a flop it's obviously a flop they rushed to make it the um team song for the wwe um smackdown live still didn't help with sales on stream still not helping with charting position and also it has now been reported that the song has been added to today's top hit at number 46 so i mean rock nation doing a big promo for megan the stallion they want this song to be a big song and i think they want it to be the lead to her second album megan um act two so i mean they definitely giving the song promotion but like i said before this song ain't for me i don't see nobody listening to the song it's kind of slow boring and also yeah megan the stallion uh, i don't think she delivers anything different from what she always do and i think her fans are starting to get tired of that one flow but yeah they're not going to talk so the general public is not like oh yeah y'all now turning to megan the stallion but nikki said she's got one flow y'all say no she's got flows so i mean they going to support her partially and we know they definitely supporting the queen of rap or oh, behind the scenes all those rap girlies fans support Nicki minaj all the haters support Nicki minaj but they not they just not going to do it openly no shade they're not going to do it openly but you guys should let me know if flop out the never play song do y'all think it's a bop or a flop lastly moving over to take my career i do not talk about her like that on this channel but she dropped a new single it's okay i'm okay and honestly speaking that song is a bop i totally love the song i love the music video i loved every single thing about the song so y'all check with taste my career let me know if you about the song down below in my honest review i'm going to give that song a 10 honestly going to give that song a 10 it is a bop any debut there with over 3.3 million streams on spotify so this is great for taste my career and also i want to see how it charts so let me know if you about these topics down below don't forget to like comment share subscribe hit the notification bell so every single time i post you'll be notified and i'll talk to you on the next video and as usual thanks for watching